Hey, how's it going? It's Philip Brady from Philip Brady Coaching and 5-Minute Coach with a quick little update, I guess, of a conversation I had today with someone that I've been coaching over the last couple of months and possibly over a year, year and a half. And it was a conversation on where he's been, where he's come from and where he is now and the difference that a coach has made to him. And... I guess some of the conversation that came up was some of the stumbling stumbling blocks that have come up for him in the last uh, number of weeks or months. And that one of the things that I said to him that I kind of reflected on since, and I think it's important to share, is around things being, being speed bumps rather than stop signs and how sometimes we can see them as a stop sign rather than as a speed bump. And it just means that it's the challenge that's in your way to overcome. It means that you're able for it just as long as you see it in a way that's a, that it's a, just a speed bump. It's just there to slow you down, test you, make you kind of gather your resources, see what you have, see what you need, and become better to overcome it, rather than thinking that it's a stop sign, that this is, oh no, I can't achieve my goals, I can't go anywhere, I'm not good enough, I don't deserve it. It's not like that. The way I see it is your goals are worthy of you, you deserve them, and if your goals are here to better the world and better your environment and the people that you come in contact with, well then you are definitely not supposed to stop on your achievement of them. And I think it's important to see it that way. So it kind of made me reflect on my own coaching and my purpose in the coaching is really to inspire and motivate you to see it in that way rather than to see it as a stumbling block. And one of the comments from this person in particular was that through the coaching it was helping this person change their attitude to things so rather than blame and put responsibility on others and uh, stuff happening and their environment and situations that happen and blaming them for the results that they're achieving they said no they changed their attitude and they realized you know what I can make a difference I can change how I'm responding I can choose to respond better and that will give me a better outcome and a better result which has massively increased this person's success and more power to this person because they're bringing goodness to the world and achieving something brilliant. And I'm only a, I guess this is what coaching and why I love it is because I don't do anything special. The person does. All I do is help them see their own potential and their own brilliance and help them unblock the barriers to their greatness but also show them the brilliance that they have within them as well so I guess a lot of the work that I did with this person was focusing on the previous successes that they've already achieved and done and been through and ticked off on their list of things to do in life and show them that and let them reflect on that goodness that they've already done but also show them do you know what if this is a barrier that your fear of standing up in front of a crowd to present your idea um that that's just something to overcome. It doesn't mean that it's a stop sign. It's something to learn, become better at, and then it is just a speed bump. It's not the stop sign. Oh, so so if you were to see it as a stop sign and not kind of react to it differently, oh, it's a stop sign. I can't present my idea because I can't stand up in front of people. Therefore, my idea goes nowhere. It's not really good enough. And you think of the people that you're holding your idea back from. They deserve your goals, your dreams, your ideas. And it'd be a shame to let a simple fear become your stop sign rather than pushing through the fears, motivating yourself to learn the skills that you need to learn, speaking and getting the resources that you need to build the skills that you need. So maybe it's get a, a presentation coach, maybe it's get a speaking coach, maybe it's get a voice coach, whatever it takes. See them as speed bumps, not as stop signs. You will achieve your goals once you kind of tilt your attitude towards that I wish you all the best in your in your life and your achievement of your goals you deserve every success and uh, if I can be of any assistance to help you get there please give me a shout Philip Brady coaching or five minute coach thank you so much have a great day